Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little comparison video for you. Um, I thought that this might be really helpful. Um, as I was browsing the website of Madame Glam's, I noticed a couple colors that were very similar and I just wanted to compare them and see, you know, which one is the one I was really looking for. So I'm looking for a specific color um, a really bright corally pink color and I had a couple in my collection already and they weren't quite the right color and then as I was browsing the website I saw these two and they were very very similar in color so I thought I wonder what the difference the big difference is between the two so I got them and we're gonna swatch them today along with the other two that I have and see um, the the big difference in them if there is one or not and then maybe that'll help you guys to see if you're looking for a specific color maybe it'll help you out to know which one to pick on the website um, as I've mentioned before their colors on the website um, the little swatch pictures they have aren't always true to color and sometimes it's really hard to capture the color by taking a picture and it helps to look at swatch pictures um, and even other people's swatch picture, pictures like on Instagram and stuff and you can get a feel for the color in different lightings and that way you get an idea of what the color is really going to be like when you get it in your hands. So it's really hard to capture it um, just by taking a picture like that. So they, they do their best but it's, it's a difficult thing to do. Now, one of these is um, actually two of these are in the neon family on the website and those ones are extremely hard to capture how bright they are in person so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch all these for you I'm gonna do my best to explain the colors to you and the differences between them and then of course as always I will take pictures of the swatches in daylight and in various lightings and put those pictures at the end of the video so I hope that is helpful and let's get swatching so I got these little swatch sticks here and I ordered these off of the wish app I'm going to use this to start swatching my Madame Glam collection and then I'll have to probably pick up a few more of these to finish it. <laughs> but as I mentioned before in a few videos back, I will be swatching my entire collection and labeling them. And that way I'll have, you know, swatches of each color. And that way if somebody is looking for a specific color, I can just grab it real quick and show them a quick video clip or picture of it. And I thought that would be really handy to do. So the two I had in my collection previously were OMG Pink and Color Me Coralie. And the OMG Pink is a very bright neon pink. And the Color Me Coralie is pretty bright. Um, definitely like a deeper shade and more on the coral side. And this is a very pretty color, but it's just not as neon and bright of a coral color that I was looking for so as I was browsing I found so hot and pajama party now I've been looking at pajama party for a while and I really wanted to try this one out and then I saw a swatch on Instagram of so hot from like last year and I thought oh my god I think that's the color I'm looking for and then as I'm on the website I'm like oh my gosh these two look almost the same they're so close I've got to get them both to see the difference in real life so um, this is described on the website as a uh, bright coral pink and this one is described on the web website as a neon like coral so let's take a look here And let's open this one. And I'm going to need to take some still photos of side by sides of these. So this one is just a little bit darker, it looks like. Make sure I'm not dripping. Both really, really close. 
it's really gonna take some daylight pictures to get the difference in these I think let's do pajama party first I think this is the color I've been looking for. I really do. I'm going to do two coats on all of these and then I'm going to top coat them with the Madame Glam top coat. That is the regular tacky top coat. Okay guys, so here we have the four shades together, and this really helps putting them so close together. You get my camera to focus. You can see how similar they are and how difficult this would be to get a clear picture of the exact color and then to try to navigate the website and get the one that you want. Um, because they are so similar in color and they don't always have them listed right next to each other like this it's it's difficult to get the exact shade that you're looking for a sharpie and I'm gonna go ahead and label these real quick before I forget what order I swatch them in and then I'll be right back okay guys so in the order that I swatch them we have pajama party so hot color me Coralie, and OMG pink so OMG pink is very much more on the pink range than it is the coral so if you're looking for a really bright neon pink OMG pink is gorgeous and this one can be a little bit on the sheer side so you're probably gonna need about three coats of this one and I believe pajama party even though it's a little darker than so hot was also just a little bit on the sheer side now both of these on the website are listed as neons and I think the neons run a little bit on the sheer side so keep that in mind that you'll probably need about three coats um, let's see color me Coralie is the darkest coral out of the bunch um, it's very similar to pajama party but not as bright it's definitely a darker coral now uh, pajama party is just a really bright neon orangey coral and then so hot isn't quite as neon but it's still a very bright coral but it's a little bit more on the pink side than it is the orange um, I hope this helps guys uh, it's I mean they're also very similar I don't think you would need all of these in your collection I really don't unless you just want to collect them all um, they're so close in color I'm thinking that if you want a bright pink go for the OMG pink for sure if you're looking for a darker color on the coral side the color me corally is good but if you're looking for something a little bit lighter one of these two would be good and gosh I, it's hard to pick between these two um, they're so similar but you can see a difference um, like I said this one's just a tiny bit more on the pinker side 
and this one's just a little bit more on the orange side and more of a neon and I'm hoping that when I get these pictures of these tomorrow in the sunlight it will show up even better so so that's it guys I hope you found this video helpful um, I know I find this extremely helpful um, when I'm looking to get a new shade to look up a swatch video and having them right next to each other like this when they're so similar in shade is extremely helpful so um, that is it guys uh, if you would please give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe I'll be doing more of these swatch and comparison videos um, like I said earlier I'm gonna be swatching my entire Madame Glam collection and I'm gonna try to keep all the colors close together like this so we can compare them um, and I know I might get a few new ones here and there that you know maybe I'll get another pink and I've already done all my pinks but I will try to throw it in as close as I can to these ones so we can get a look at them when I do the swatches so if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and if you'd like go ahead and share this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye I thought that since this one was so similar in shade, this is called So 2016. Now, it's a shimmery pink, but it's still pretty close to the same um, color family of these other ones I just did. And there is So 2016 along with the rest of them. Definitely in the same color family-ish. More on the pink side, a little darker than, let's see, OMG pink. There we go. Sorry. OMG pink and then So 2016. So definitely getting darker, but still in the pink range and has that slight shimmer to it. So I thought I'd throw that in there for you guys. Can we get this